Dr. Ariane from The Movement Paradigm. Did you know that you can test your vagal nerve function? And not only can you test it, but you can begin to tap into the healing power of the vagus nerve and recognizing that it can impact your brain and autonomic nervous system. It can affect inflammation, your digestion, your swallowing and speech. So many aspects that are so critical to optimal health that you can tap into. Before we jump in to how you can assess the vagal nerve, let's talk a little bit about the autonomic nervous system. We used to think of the autonomic nervous system as simply fight or flight or rest and digest. However, Dr. Stephen Porges' work really shows us that there's much more to it and there's actually three circuits of our autonomic nervous system. This is referred to as the polyvagal theory. So essentially, we are going to have our a fight or flight state, which is also considered our sympathetic spinal activation. Then we also have our dorsal vagal state. This is essentially our most primitive vagal nerve. And this is referring to when we are in a free state, when we are shut down, we feel hopeless, we are disassociated from ourselves and from other people. And then we have the ventral vagal circuit, which essentially is where we are socially engaged. This means we are connected to the greater world, we're connected to ourselves, we're joyful, we're mindful. So all three of these are critical and during the day go through all of these different circuits, but most often we don't even recognize that we do because we go through them so quickly. However, we can get stuck in these. We can get stuck in a fight or flight stress response where we're constantly worried or we're constantly anxious or we're frustrated or irritated. We could get stuck in that shutdown mode. We could also, of course, be mindful and joyful. So we're constantly fluctuating, but once again, we also can get stuck in these. Breaking that down a little further, let's speak about the ventral vagal nerve. So this is essentially originating from the brainstem, just as the dorsal vagal nerve is as well. Originating from the brainstem, and this is going to innervate most of the muscles of the throat. So this is innervating our larynx, our pharynx, the uvular muscles, as well as the levator palatini muscles in the back of the throat. We'll get into that when we get into testing. Whereas our dorsal vagal nerve, so this is really gonna be more subdiaphragmatic for the most part. So it's innervating the muscles of the stomach, of the liver, of the digestive system. It also does innervate the muscles of the heart and lungs as well. So just a reminder, the dorsal vagal nerve is impacting that freeze state, that shutdown mode, where the ventral vagal is really uh, eliciting that sense of, of inner calm and relaxation and associated with our state of safety, our state of social engagement. So now let's get into how you can test your ventral vagal function. You may need a partner for this, but this is a really powerful technique that can have a profound impact on how you address the body. So remembering where all these innervations are, one of the innervations is of the throat. So we are going to look at inside of the mouth at the back of the uvula, right in the center that drops down. So we're gonna look at the position when we do an ah, ah, ah movement. So ideally, if you have a partner, you would have them grab a flashlight so they can kind of look in your throat, to the back of the throat. You open your mouth, you can use a tongue depressor or you could just use your fingers to push down your tongue. So it's gonna look like this. Uh, 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 uh. And then your examiner is going to look at that uvula to see if it is changing. So what you're looking for specifically is if there's any deviation from one side to the other. So if the uvula pulls over to one side, then that is indicative of a ventral vagal nerve dysfunction. If it moves up symmetrically, then that means that you are in that state of social engagement. So if you have the soft palate moving up on one side, let's say it's moving up on the left side, but it's not moving up on the right side, then that would be indicative of a dysfunction of the pharyngeal branch of the ventral vagal nerve. Once again, indicating some kind of ventral vagal nerve issue. 
To perform the basic exercise for vagus nerve stimulation, interlace your fingers and bring them behind your head. Look with your eyes to the right until you sigh, swallow, or yawn, and then repeat on the other side. You may blink during the exercise. So of course, this is just one way to measure your autonomic nervous system function, really look into your vagus nerve and how that's impacting your nervous system. But just recognize there are so many ways to begin to become more aware, more in tune, and map your own nervous system. So you are completely in control of what's happening in your life. And I always wanna give a huge thank you to Dr. Stephen Porges for all of his amazing work in this area, as well as Stanley Rosenberg, who has also done amazing work. So thank you to both of them. Thank you to you for really taking the time to understand this a little bit more, for joining today and every week. If this was helpful, give it a like and feel free to give it a comment, ask any questions that I can answer for you. And as always, have a great week and good luck.